It's well known that Cartier makes some of the world's finest sunglasses. And in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing one of the most versatile pieces that Cartier have created. So hi, I'm Robert, style and vision consultant here at the Spectacle Factory. And it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses or sunglasses. And today we are going to be looking at a sunglass that is very wearable, very versatile in terms of how you can customize it with various different tint colors and one of the most timeless pieces that Cartier have ever designed. So these are the rimless Cedar Cartier frames. And what I particularly like about this frame in comparison to a lot of the other rimless sunglasses on the market is the boldness of the actual material itself. The way that the bridge is a lot more dominant, a lot more pronounced, a lot thicker than your typical rimless sunglasses, which tend to be a little bit finer and more discreet. This frame, despite being rimless, is quite a bold style at the same time. And that's very hard to achieve without the thick frame or an oversized shape. But yet Cartier have managed to achieve really great presence with these sunglasses. And I'm a huge fan of them, particularly the tint colors that you can combine with them. So for example, this has the blue tint which I find really restful, really relaxing. And as all top quality sunglasses do, they feature an anti-reflective coating on the back surface, which means that no light from a bright light source will reflect off the lens into the eye, which can cause that distracting glare. But we also have it in the yellow gold. And Cartier have decided to pair the yellow gold color with a green lens. Again, quite restful, but definitely darker to look through. The blue tint was more suited to this low light interior environment that we're in, but if I was outdoors in bright sunlight or if it was summer, the green would definitely be more appropriate. Green is also one of the optimum colors for driving. It gives really good contrast, really good clarity, and it's very good in direct sunlight. Obviously this is a warmer sunglass overall with the green color of lens and the gold frame. And as with all Cartier sunglasses, there's exceptional attention to detail where we've got the three ridges finished into the frame alongside the Cedar Cartier classic Cartier logo. As I've said before about Cartier, one of the things that I really like about them and what makes them a lot more classy than your other designer brands out there is the fact that they're not relying on the name being emblazoned on the side of them. There's no mention of Cartier anywhere other than the very end tip, which is obviously going to be hidden under the hair or behind the ear. And yet, they're unmistakably Cartier because only a brand like Cartier can really get away with a design like this. You see, this style is not one that you'd particularly describe as being on trend. It's not a fashionable shape or style at the moment. And that's why you'll find that brands like Gucci, Jimmy Choo are going to shy away from something like this. But Cartier really make it their own. It's such a timeless style and that's what Cartier really represents as a brand. As we've said before on the channel, they're not coming up with new, quirky, crazy ideas. They aim for designs which can be worn for generations and this is a great example. So there's kind of an irony in wearing it because it's not super fashionable and yet it's cool at the same time. I don't know how Cartier do it. They do it with the watches, with the jewelry, and they certainly do it with the glasses and the sunglasses. They manage to make frames which aren't super on trend, but are really cool at the same time. And it's not just because they say Cartier either. I'm not someone that's particularly impressed by a brand as such, but it's the quality that I personally like about these sunglasses. And you can tell when you wear them that the quality is exceptional. Not just the quality of the frames either, but the packaging that they come with. With any of the Cartier sunglasses, you get this beautiful presentation box the very classy Cartier case, and then of course the red Cartier bag to finish everything off. So in addition to having the full sunglasses, you can actually have this frame with the Cartier Blue and Beyond lenses, which I mentioned in a brief video earlier in the year. So Blue and Beyond lenses are both computer glasses designed for when you're on screens, if you're on a computer for a long period of time, if you're on your phone for a while, especially before you go to sleep. These will benefit you by blocking out blue light, which can affect sleep patterns and can cause tired eyes. But if I was outdoors, these would actually become full sunglasses, like the other two pairs that we've looked at. Now, unlike the other two, which have the blue and the green lenses, these have a standard gray lens, but with a blue reflective finish, which is still nice in its own way. Gray is a much more neutral color, so it's not gonna give the contrast and clarity of the green, and it's not gonna give the low light, comfortable vision that the blue lens provides. But obviously, when you're in low light, they're going to fade back to a lighter colour, so it doesn't need that. So you really do get the best of both worlds with this pair. I would suggest the blue lens in the platinum finish for if you're not particularly light sensitive and you want a pair of sunglasses you can wear all year round and you don't do a lot of driving. 
And on the other hand, I would recommend the green lens with the gold frame if you are someone that does a lot of driving, if you're more light sensitive, if you like darker sunglasses, and if you tend to wear sunglasses more in the summer months. So I hope you've enjoyed this exploration of the C. Cartier rimless sunglasses. If you've got any questions about them, leave them in the comment section below. If you have liked this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because it really helps us grow. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye bye.